Thank you very much for joining me, Polina here, chatting to you a little bit about 2022. If you like uh, these specific videos for your side and all the others, uh, I put these up every month on Patreon, so I predict every month for every sign. So uh, don't be shy, go ahead, check out my Patreon channel. Uh, it's in the link below, you can subscribe to this channel, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's, your, it's your life. <laughs> So anyway, um, this is a very, very powerful year for you guys. Um, your nervous system really gets uh, tuned. You might be a little bit uh, sensitive and surprised by the results where the North Node walking through your sign. So we have a very, very sensitized and very, very sometimes easily unpleased and fussy Taurus. And uh, lucky for us, everybody's on your side. Everybody wants to make you feel good. Everybody wants to talk at your level. And uh, people really, really want to know you. So this is the thing, North Node in your sign, your it baby, uh, or people just really, really want to know how you're going. And they're very, very careful about you. They also might be very, very careful about money and spending and all those physical, practical things, physical goods, uh, survival, um, basically, and also what nature can give, what health is, and what knowledge is. Um, it's all about you. You're in the still walking around in there, in your sign also. So you are the change maker. Sometimes just to touch lives with you, just to chat to you a little bit for just a moment can help a person change anything in their world. So this is why um, it's a powerful uh, time and a powerful, big powerful uh, place to be. But you have a lot of knowledge uh, given to you without you wanting it. So maybe if you are at a school, you study, it's overwhelming now. So maybe there is like way too much you have to do. There's way too many things you have to be on top of. There's like, whoa, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. But yes, you have to be. And people are nice about it. So this is where you have to know uh, who it's coming from, who the nice changes are coming from, the nice people with respect, the formal people with attention to what you really need um, are those that are the lucky ones for you. So this is not about a person screaming at you. This is not about a person forcing you. This is not about a person jumping at you. Um, this is going to be maybe also uh, very easy for you to handle as the year goes through, like maybe February up until September. It's going to be much easier feeling about those jumpy, racy, emotional, colorful people. You might not take it all too hard, but you might just brush it off because um, impressionability is very high, but at the same time, uh, maturity matters, maturity counts. So you might be an unconscious healer and guide for people to just get their stuff together and be a little bit more mature right about now. So you're basically uh, telling people to grow up. And I also feel that a lot of you is uh, ready for confrontation or ready for that next speaking part because of how hard it was maybe as a child or how hard it was at your job or as an adult or anything like that or your marriage, anything. Uh, work life, living situation because of the immaturity of another and also these uncomfortable systems that you're living through, uh, people not giving you respect, people not answering your phone calls, people not telling you the truth, people not giving you enough credit, people not giving you enough time. Whoa, 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 it's not possible to live there now. So this is the thing that I'm feeling about you guys at the moment. It feels like you are just not going to take the time now. Um, at the same time, people are going to help you put your time better together and structure your day. So this is where you are so lucky for other people and you are very lucky indeed because of how much purpose, attention to detail, time and care and management is going into your world. If you have a problem, other people can solve it for you now. If you have a system that doesn't work, another person might be just around the corner to help you out. It's all just around the corner now. So it's local culture. It is people that live next door. It is about the many things that you have already, already been given and maybe already been kind of, you know, ushered into by those of uh, us, those people um, that live very close by. So there is a very, very nice close proximity. You don't have to enter university on the other side of the country. Don't do that. You don't have to leave the house right now. Just make sure you have an easy way, even if there is some kind of travel and change that is best for you at the moment. It would probably come from a friend or somebody that has or is uh, close to you, has been or is close to you. So maybe your neighbor knows where to go. Maybe your friend knows how to get there. Maybe you will go with someone else. If you have to travel, if you have to 
change your life or if you have to make some very big plans or some very rude awakenings you don't have to do it by yourself a little Taurus you can do it um, of course alone if you want but there's probably gonna be so many people lined up there or there's going to be so many people around you that are already ready to go so there is a readiness if you need someone to help you it is already kind of waiting for you and maybe there's people on the land that have been seated there or people that have lived somewhere for a long time that can appreciate you and understand you for who you are so there's a very very nice showy part of you also that can come out come out if you like so for example if you like dressing a certain way if you like walking talking feeling a certain way if you have a certain type of personality or presence if you don't want to do this it's probably better but if you like um, if there is something about you that feels very stung for not showing your true colors you can do it now if you want you can be one of those people that is fresh in the party in the mix you could be the girl in the white dress you can be the fellow in the red suit you can do anything you want <clears throat> So to me it doesn't feel like it's all about personality but to some degree some of uh, the people that have Taurus energy they would benefit from an extra gush of color if that is natural to you so for example if you come from a certain country in the world uh, where fiestas and uh, celebration is a normal place and uh, where people are just naturally happy about life imagine places like that are and um, you like to wear your uh, traditional clothes or you love sharing your perspective uh, as a person of a certain tribe <coughs> or ethnicity that is a perfect time this is a perfect time to do that and also you can help other people but don't wait for them to love you uh, there are people that are naturally susceptible to seeing you it's like you walk into a room and people are just stunned even if you are the most casual person um, there is something about you that is very natural for us and um, there is going to be always those lucky, fabulous, fun-loving people that just absolutely like that you are here, that you are dressed a certain way, um, that you come from a certain background, and they love you. So um, be okay about being just loved. Like, wow, I just love, I just love her. I love her dress. I love her color. I love her culture. I love her style. I love her earrings. I love her tribal wear tribal wear is very big this year so if you have a certain country of residence that is not your country of origin it would be nice to bring that in you know we live in an international community don't try to fit in with the jeans and the t-shirt just be out there like you know what like in my place uh we wear this or like you know uh, i come from a tribe and we wear that it's really really cool actually and uh also to share parts of personality um, that are really inheritably yours so um, having a big laugh and not being afraid of being in a public space you know having a big think and having a big talk and telling a story like weaving a tale or sharing some knowledge and information also being very young and uh, fun loving or being very naughty even rude because some cultures are like that um, and also some families are and don't be afraid of it because it's going to be tasty for somebody and they're going to usher you through so it feels to me that whoever you are is lucky for somebody else and they're going to probably mirror you exactly well they know exactly how to help you so for example if you are entering an agency like say an acting or a kind of a modeling agency there's going to be a guide for you they're going to be like okay you've got exactly what we want and i know exactly exactly who you are and i know exactly how to help you shine so don't be afraid like people are going to master you you know there's going to be maybe also like a stylist or like a manager that is going to help you so this is how i see you guys at the moment it's like you are the lucky ones for many reasons and um also with the square and uh this uh sextile here with uh saturn and jupiter there's going to be a very very nice um also kind of slightly nervous way in which you are um, because north node and uranus together are very nervous um, and this nervousness actually gives us hope because there's something about this innocent nervousness that we love and uh, the main thing basically to do is to get your root system in alignment to know who you are where you're from uh, who your parents are um, which part of the world you're from and not to feel unlucky about it so this is the main thing if you have trauma in your family or in your country 
And if you are, say, a refugee, you come from a very, very um, sad or scary experience, um, it's important to be all right about it. And if you want, you can um, visit your ancestors like four or five, 15 generations ago and think about what they would have been like, what their lives would have been like. So I'm trying to basically uh, boost up your root system here because you need it uh, to be able to be fine and to shine no matter what, rain or shine. So this is the reason why um, we want to feed you. This is the reason why we want to introduce you, invite you to people's houses or to certain type of things. We just really like how you are and how you have become. There is something very new, fresh and sustainable about a Taurus right now. We love it. Anything you're doing, anything you're doing, if you are laughing, if you are drawing, if you are figure skating, we want it. We want you to know what is going on with us as well. So this is the hard thing. Sometimes a person will sit in front of you and tell you their life story or want you to participate with them and here you have to choose. So this is where the first video uh, about all signs, you know, about just the trends for 2022 is important. If you feel like you are drained by somebody uh, who's taking your uh, fashion sense or who's taking your energy, who's appropriating your culture, you know, who is taking from your bank of information, who is taking from your wisdom and applying it to them, uh, or they want you uh, to work for their community even though there is nothing really they need from you, or they're taking you somewhere that you don't want to be, you have to say no, you have to say stop. So a tourist has to know, okay, look, I'm so gladly like given here, I'm so gladly loved, I'm so gladly understood, but hey, you know, that person over there is a weird person, or like actually their tribe stands for something I don't want to see in my life, in my children's life, I don't want it. So this is where you can say no, and also be very, very here and now for yourself if you have done something to clip your wings. If you have started wearing clothes that are conservative and not your tribal wear. You know, if you try to be around people that are not part of you or your journey. If you try to be with people that have no meaning to you. If you um, wanted to work at a position where you don't have any real connection. If you try to be somebody else's friend for no good reason. All of this stuff, if you sold yourself short. If you've given away compliments that you didn't mean, if you are selling yourself or your culture or your tribe or your future um, to people uh, who don't mean anything to you and never would, um, you have to understand that now and recognize it strong. Like, hey, I've just sold like my land to this person for nothing or I've just been selling my soul to this job and I don't even feel that I've become anything from it or that I've gained anything except for money. And that has to be a very, very strong, strong position in life that you have just to say no to any parasites in your system and also no to any presence that has ever been in your world taking from you, taking from you, drinking your blood, you know, uh, messing with your mind, uh, doing things behind the scenes and also people that have been harvesting what you do and paying you little. For example, a person paying you peanuts for your art. Uh, a person taking advantage of you and your freedom, a person taking advantage of your body, of your look, or uh, a person appropriating any anything that you've done or taking something that you've made and saying it's theirs. Anybody who's been stealing, stealing, yeah, um, stealing your time, anybody who has been stealing your culture, your root system, anything that has been taking advantage of you. And it's a very good uh, time if you want to go for a parasite check, to go for a bacteria check, to get all those viruses out of your system. If you want, I can teach you a little bit about this because this is something I'm doing right now. So, okay, um, the one thing I've noticed is that a lot of bugs and parasites can't stay anymore in my system just because I have been um, putting things into my body that help it shed bacteria, bacteria and also anything to do with fungus growth. So if you want, you could do apple cider vinegar drinks. Um, so maybe two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to one large glass of water with a little bit of lemon, with cinnamon, with honey if you want, or some, something like no sugar, uh, some kind of sweetener like stevia maybe or agave syrup. Um, drink that stuff up, cayenne pepper, fantastic. If you want, you can apply that to the drink as well. 
If you like, you can do that for a while if you're not used to cleansing. It's a very easy one. Um, if you want, you can take uh, anything with antibacterial properties like garlic and onion. I don't think this is for everybody. And also it does cut out your uh, crown. It does cut out your inflammation flow. So right now I'm not taking that much onion and garlic as I used to, but it did help me uh, signify my root system because it makes you fight. It makes you really stroppy, like garlic and onion. Definitely. Um, another thing that I've been doing is taking um, antibacterial stuff. So Tokosh, Tokosh, T-O-C-O-S-H, is a Peruvian fermented potato that kills almost anything by basically being very, very proud of itself and wanting all of that, all of that territory in your body. It wants to live in everything. It's a certain type of uh, penicillin um, and it's also a little bit dangerous if you take it in high doses because it does start to live inside of you. But it does kill and take out um, candida, uh, anything, anything. Candida is not just uh, thrush. Candida is actually something that lives in your bowels and most people, if you're eating bread and cheese and stuff, and if you like your energy drinks, um, probably a 90% chance that you've got it unless you're very active and very, very full of life. So candida is also one of the precursors to cancer growths. If you've got candida in your system, it is much easier to create a cancer growth. So that's one thing that I've done is take out most of it, most of them little bugs. And um, one thing I've noticed is that parasites and other debris and viruses and things you know that happen, we think it's our ego, we think it's in the head. No, they basically start to come out. And uh, why is because the natural ecosystem for them does not exist. So why they come into the body, why they rummage around is because we've got gunk inside. So um, gunk inside is gunk outside. Sometimes we have gunk in our bodies and we think about gunk. You know, we live in the cities or communities that don't support um, the way of life. You know, they, they're not natural communities and we get gunky. And that's the thing, we eat pizza, we, you know, sleep, sleep a lot and, you know, we have sex with people that don't care about us and that's all um, about these bugs that live inside. So if you want, you can start a cleanse. So I've just given you some things, also not for everybody, but if you are quite a clean person, you don't eat any pizza, you don't uh, share your body with other people so much, you have a very clean self-view, you have a very clean, organized life. A little bit of baking soda, not for everybody. It can make things worse for some people unless you persevere with it. A little bit of baking soda to a glass of warm water and a squeeze of lemon. And uh, sometimes I put a little stevia in there. It can help you alkalize your body. And an alkaline body is much easier to heal from anything. But I'm going to tell you, for some people that have a lot of growths and a lot of issues in their body, it can take you out. It can wipe you out as well. It can be very damaging to your organs if you don't have a clean body already. So if you are already cleansed, a little bit of baking soda in the morning helps you alkalize. I'm just letting you know. So if you want, you can perfect yourself even further, Taurus, during this time. And um, why I'm saying this again, why I'm meant to you know, talk about this is because um, people want you that you don't want back. So this is when parasites and sticky bugs and viruses want you that you don't want in your body. So this is how also to get rid of all of it. If you don't have anything growing inside that is icky and yucky, you might not be attracting the same type of tribes and people. And also I found for myself and other people in my life, when you are cleaner, when you even at least have a parasite free body for at least a week and a half you'll notice the previous people that were so curious about you disappear they got other things to do and that's because as within so without so maybe you've got a different smell you've got a different vibration your organs are functioning at a different rate your heart rate changes your frequency changes um, and then that sort of uh, educates people on a different level we all educators here we all teach each other how to live in a way so we're all helping each other go home, you know, um, there's like a famous meme about that, you know, we're all helping each other, we're all holding hands, you know, we're all walking each other home, okay. So this is where we have to basically um, drop it if we also know that we're attracting the wrong types of uh, people. And uh, if you are, like when you wake up you'll see what I'm talking about, when you are with a tribe or certain type of people, 
um, or a certain type of romantic or emotional person um, that wants to take you somewhere, wants to help you, and on the other hand, the price at which they help you is so big, you have to know what's going on very fast and you've got to stop participating. So for example, okay, uh, you're a model, you've been signed up to a really nice brand, and then you find out that like the person that signed you up and that promoted you and maybe even uh, took you to the studio and you know spent so much time on you will not have you at the studio unless you are physically intimate. Okay, so here you have to know your guts. You have to cleanse and you have to not participate because there are some things that are offered with a price. So this is something that is important for you. So you being the golden girl, the golden boy right now, um, having maybe all that money, uh, some people can have more money than normal here, um, having all of these goods or being extra attractive or attracting of attention or having more than enough or having somehow greater resonance with people than others or having a greater personality or just a bigger wallet or like a bigger show than other people or having greater systems to share. You have something that is greater than others by default. You know, it's not about how hard you try, it's just greater. You have a better garden than another person. You know, you have a bigger wallet than another person. You just have a larger than life personality that you can spark another person with. There's something bigger than you working through you. And maybe your ancestors or your inherited money or your inherited traits are very big and bulbous and bulky and seen like they're seen from like a mile away you are hot you know so you are somehow hot right now but there is a need for you to understand what wants to live in your garden of life so you have a lot of plants you have a lot of snails or slugs okay you get a lot of efforts you know so that's a whole science in itself how to hold a garden you know so like that's the thing, it's like uh, people sometimes don't speak to you about that and they probably never really would want to, but like there are some things that you definitely would have also had all your life given to you for free or for very little if you just know where you are supportive naturally and what you have in surplus. So this is something that um, probably is important to see, okay this is really cool. Maybe you didn't know that you were uh, very, very good at something, you know, and it was just something natural, like you were just a natural listener or a natural provider or something like that of space. And maybe now it is something that another person can see and another person can help you persevere with. If you want to coach, like maybe people know where you fit. So for example, you are, you know, blatantly said, okay, um, in an orchestra, okay, and you are suddenly the soloist because you play your instrument at a certain frequency, so you emit a certain energy, you know, or for example, you are uh, selling art on the street, usually, right, and then somebody goes, you know what, this type of art is exactly what I need, painted on my bedroom wall, you know, this is exactly what I want, can you come in and paint a mural for me? You know, and maybe you start doing murals. Maybe your art, just like on a little um, on a little plank, is not enough. Maybe your art needs to be on a big wall for it to actually breathe and have the space to tell the stories. Maybe you have too much detail in your art to be able to put it on an A4 paper. So maybe there's also other ways in which your history, your story, and your people, your tribe, whatever you're carrying with you, anything, anything of good, you have with you goods, goods, goods. This is what it's about. Everybody wants the goods in the North Node and Taurus. Um, you really kind of like open people's eyes, you know, to what they've got. Maybe you really, really take their breath away. But there's always a better way to do it. You know, so for example, if you are in the theater and you are a comedian, you know, and everybody loves it, everybody loves it, but somebody comes up to you and says, you know what, you would be a great Shakespearean actor. Oh, I never thought about that. Try it, try it, just one time, try it. And this is where you get 12 times more attention than usual, or you get booked for bigger shows, you know. So there is something that you are already doing that can be even better. 
So um, how to do it if you don't really know your direction. Talk to somebody about this. Maybe there is somebody at school, especially if you're young, if you're in college, if you're at school, um, somebody close to you might know where you shine. So maybe your art teacher can see how else to do your art. You know, or like how else to express yourself or what type of collective you need to improve. Um, maybe somebody that you are buying things from or getting things from, importing things, has something for you that is even greater than that which they have held before. Maybe your um, position in life can be extremely improved. Somebody soft and close to you might have a bigger picture for you. But the thing here is to be um, feeling good in yourself. So this is the worst thing that can happen. This is the worst thing that has happened recently to me, okay? This is the worst. You are provided a perfect opportunity sometimes, right? So like you are given some very, very amazing, amazing thing, but you don't feel strong or plush enough in yourself to accept it. So this is where like you get a call out to go to the other side of the world or do something different or you are made a really big, beautiful and colorful, obvious deal. And sometimes the worst that can happen is that you don't have the guts or the gush or the feelings to take it there. You don't know what to do. Like, you can't do it. And um, that's something that has happened um, for a perfect reason, maybe in my life uh, also. And the reason is because you aren't fully yourself, you aren't prepared. So this is how, okay, don't be in disarray. Um, if you are waiting for the big break, for the big call, or you are feeling hopeful about something, or you're already feeling hopeless about what you have, if you have a hopelessness, that's a start. That's already a start for something bigger to come through. You just need to be prepared. So um, sometimes all it is is a small wardrobe of items. All it is is a ready-to-go passport. Sometimes all it is is a little bit of money saved. You know, it's a little bit of backup. Sometimes it is about having good equipment. Sometimes it is about having the right things to do or say or be part of in the right time. This is about a brilliance that we expect from you sometimes also when you come in. So when the person with a Torian aspect comes into a group or they carry something we don't just want you to say hey guys what's up we want it to be great and um, that's where you need a portfolio for your work this is where you need a context for what you're doing this is where you need to really be strong really know your stuff really get to the root system of who you are and what you're bringing what you are happy to provide especially if you have found your place in the world if you found your place in the world and you already know that you can do it just be that and it's important to be kind and also not to hold any competitive um, thought or view because although it's a very competitive frisky kind of year it's going to be so much happier if you just already know you because north node in your sign we just know you by default you don't have to compete but if you invited somewhere for an addition um, for a certain type of work for a certain type of territory we know you've got it in you, we know you've got it, but are you ready enough? Are you stable enough? Are you secure enough to provide it for yourself, for the world, for other people? So you're carrying with you almost like a beacon of certain type of uh, realness. And unless you have got it in you, and unless you're ready, unless you are totally bulletproof sometimes, it is hard to see you there. So this is where you are in the deep end suddenly or you're making a new profit, you, you're in a new job, but you're shaking, you're shaking, you're shaking. Um, we know you got it, okay, we know you got the potential, it's just important to be fine and confident and not skits out. So how not to skits out? Uh, know if you have any deficiencies, calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, anything. Uh, know if you are nervous about certain people, know if you're nervous in groups, start getting ready, okay? If you had all of this now, if you had all that money now, if you had all these people now, if you had all of these contributions now, where would you go, what would you do? Be very, very strong, be very, very clear. It is nice to be clean about your day, it's very nice to be clean in your heart, to say all the thank yous and sorries before you even need to. Um, so be, be gentle with yourself, but it's important to be cleansed 
it is important to be right on the money so like when you are making that call when you're making that shot when you are making that friendship when you are doing that next big thing it's important to be direct and not to fly off the handle so that's the thing nervous system is um, a little gentle a little bit sensitive for some of you guys anyway thank you so much for listening if you'd like have a look at my new book 2022 year of the water tiger it has predictions for the whole year ahead um, it's very very handy you know uh, it's good in digital because it's color and it's fun and it's got my illustrations in it and it's also good in black and white because you can scribble on the uh, right hand side of the page on, on the right hand um, on the right hand page uh, if you like to scribble in your diary so it's also a planner so you can put in your appointments and stuff it's a very very uh, strong book um, it talks about uh, the global truths for this year and also talks about the different signs and everything and the different elements um, i hope that it's helpful to you and also please check out my website and Patreon. Thank you, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.